In today's video, I give you an update on the first pet ant colony of this channel, that of our Serviformica cunicularia quinant, right after the intro. Hello and welcome to another Ants Vienna episode everyone! If it's your first time here, on this channel we cover everything you need to know that will help you become a fully fledged ant keeper. Since I get a lot of questions like how is this colony doing or can you give us an update on X colony, we'll start updating right away. And which of our pet ant colonies would it be better to start with than that of the first quinant I presented you on this channel? About two years ago, Serviformica cunicularia. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with other ant enthusiasts. Formica ants in general are known for their big subfamily varieties and notorious stop and go movement patterns. What do I mean with subfamily variety? Out of most ant genus, Formica are one that have many parasitic quinant species like Rufa and Sanguinea which need to take over a host colony and its workers before starting to lay eggs on their own. At the same time, Formica also have many species that often take the role of that host colony and are therefore called slave ants as a result. These species belong to the Serviformica subfamily and Formica fusca, as well as Formica cunicularia, are just two examples. In contrast to parasitic quinants, Serviformica quinants are fully claustral, which means that in the wild they seek a fitting spot to nest and start laying eggs right away. As the queen takes good care of her eggs, they hatch into larvae. Claustral quinants feed their first young with the energy provided from their no longer needed wing muscles. So the queen doesn't need to go out and endanger herself on the search for food. After they reach a certain size, larvae spin a silk cocoon around themselves and pupate. In this stage, they develop their exoskeleton before turning into worker ants eventually. That is the ant life cycle in a nutshell. As you may know, I house our Serviformica cunicularia ants in this self-made all-in-one formicarium of mine. With all-in-one, I mean that in this ant farm they are provided both a nesting medium and a foraging area also called an outworld. In my opinion, the setup has aged well. There are some insect parts lying around, as well as some mold built up in the nest. However, the outworld can easily be cleaned with a vacuum cleaner and the mold can be removed by letting the formicarium dry and using some sandpaper, when our ant colony moves out. And just for the record, here you can also see that Formica ants can actually chew through plaster. Our colony didn't like the watering sponges, so they have torn them to pieces and used them to redecorate their home, while using the area where the sponge was as an extra nesting space or chamber. If you want to give it a try, and create an all-in-one setup like this yourself, 
go ahead and watch the corresponding video in our Build Tutorials playlist. i link it in the corner right now for you. Back to our ant colony now. The colony had about 55 workers during the start of the 2020 ant season. Since I have had some health issues and was not able to take care of my ants personally for the last couple of months, they were only fed with honey water in my absence. To produce and feed more young, ant colonies need protein in form of insects, for example. Therefore, our queen did not produce as many offspring this year. At the same time, her first set of workers, the nanitics, died. Nanitics cost the queen less energy to produce, but do not live as long as regular workers do. So, at the moment, our colony is left with somewhat over 40 workers. However, they also have three pupa, which will hopefully turn into worker ants before the winter comes and hibernation starts. Knowing that ants of the Formica genus hibernate without brood, this should be no issue, since the queen would not have laid these eggs in the first place if she thought they wouldn't successfully turn into workers before winter comes. Since I am back now, I feed them more protein. Here you can see the colony feeding on a harvest man. I will do everything in my power to help this colony thrive in the next season, so we can build a new ant farm for them. So far, Formica are my favorite ant genus after all. So here's my question to you. What do you think of Formica ants? Do you keep any? Let me know in the comment section below. I read through every comment, I promise. Thank you for joining me in this brief update on our Serviformica cunicularia pet ant colony. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more colony updates. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! And girls, of course.